Road Trip Nation is a movement that empowers people to build lives around doing what they love. This year, six Rio Salado College students ventured out for conversations with Rio alumni about how education can empower every kind of student and every kind of path. This is Road Trip Nation's Rio Salado College Road Trip. My name is Meredith Jackson. My name is Mariah Schneider. I am Brittany Megan Gray. So I will be traveling with two other women in an RV, going through all these places to traipse around the Southwest United States. All of us are Rio Salado students now, and we're gonna be interviewing Rio Salado College alumni to try to connect how their education at Rio Salado impacted them and what they're using it for now. It's gonna be one heck of a ride. <laughs> I'm so excited. My name is Hugo Organista. My name is Cordero Holmes. My name is Marzi Nevin. Road Trip Nation has arranged for me a virtual experience. I'm very excited to ask a lot of questions that I've had myself to somebody who's already gone through it. So I have just my own internal doubts, like what do you do with a degree? How are you gonna get a job? How did you know this is it? And how did you get to like your dream job? How did you get there? How did you get through the anxiety? There are always gonna be someone somewhere saying something you shouldn't be doing. And the first thought is going to be to think the most negative thing, but it's up to us to redirect those thoughts. Give yourself five seconds, <laughs> rethink that thought. There is no such thing as the perfect job, but there is the next job that will give you a big chunk of knowledge in something that you want to get better at. There is that whole imposter syndrome of like, yeah. do I know enough for people to listen to me? The question is, why not you? They're just gunning down my excuses to not try things. Thank you, Bryce, for being here today. Thank you for meeting with me. Nice meeting you too, Hugo. Something that I'm struggling with, I feel like I'm behind in life. Am I supposed to be doing this other thing or that? The best thing I could tell you is don't stop. Keep going. Cancel out all the negative noise. Listen to yourself. You know you can do it. It can be whatever you make it to be. What I'm looking to get out of this interview is really just some advice from someone who's already done it. Somebody who's gone through a similar path that I'm on right now. I've just been stumbling and like fumbling through and messing everything up. And it wasn't until I came back to the U.S. and started at Rio Salado that my mentality kind of shifted. I started thinking, okay, I know what I want. I know that I want to tell stories and I want to inspire people. So how do I get there? After this conversation with Bryce, uh, I'm inspired. Uh, I'm inspired that I'm, I'm going in the right direction. It helps me kind of get back into the mindset that I'm not behind and I'm doing life at my own pace. The fact that you're on this journey tells me you're already aware of what's calling you. There's something really valuable in the journey. I kind of feel fragile at times because of my inexperience. And what a lot of the leaders showed me was that they've been there too. I try to do most of the things that like, oh, I'm afraid to do this. On the other side of fear, it's pretty much probably everything that you want. It starts with your intentions though. What are your intentions for engaging in anything, right? The moment to take that leap of faith is now and is every day. If we didn't do it yesterday, that's fine. Today's the day. Fear is holding me back. Like, I'm really wasting energy. You're not gonna get anywhere without a couple of bumps in the road. And so you're gonna have to fall down. We're all gonna have to get scraped up. And you can't let other people dictate what makes you you. You gotta know who you are. <laughs>